Saturday. Depends on when I start. Mm. I do have a funeral on Friday. Mm. So, welcome back. Um, we went live about 30 seconds ago. It's okay. Um, so, you guys defeated the giant bug. And you're all standing over its corpse, or at least a good portion of you are. Um, Burke is fine. Okay, he's back to sleep. Knack never woke up. You have no idea where Nick is. Wack is still fast asleep as well. Um, so what do you guys want to do? Um, is it you... Ted Cody already? No. Nice work, sorry. Do you want to help pull it out down yes. first? I'll help pull it out over there. Alright, who all is helping? I think you and me are the strongest one, right? So two yeah. of you are working together? Yeah. Alright, so either one of you roll with advantage or both of you roll. I'll let you roll. And you're just trying to pull it out, right? Not 20. And what do you Sugar roll? Sugar bunk. To assist? I, I, uh, 10. Okay. She starts pulling and pulling. It starts to tear a bit. And then it starts to let go. And all of a sudden she starts yanking it out. And you go flying back. <coughs> um... You pull about six feet of it out of the ground. So more than that? Oh, yeah. Can I keep pulling it out of the ground? Make another strength check. You trying to help her out again? Yep. Go on! <laughs> they both rolled the one. They ones. both rolled the one. It tears. As you start slip. yanking on it, both of you slip in the mud and just end up on your knees. So you all get to see them both fall flat on there. Me is. Get up and try it again. Okay. Yep. <coughs> pull, pull this whole okay. mom and jamma out of here. Dirty 20. 20. Okay. You're able to pull another four feet or so of it out. Now you're at about 12 feet of this thing. It, it's still not out. It's still not out. The body that you've been pulling is actually wider now than when you, than what you've already pulled out. Exactly. So he's getting awesome. bigger. Abby, how big is this thing? You don't know. That's what we're trying to find out. You want to help out? I have nothing to my strength. Who, who wants to help? Bardic Inspiration. I can cast Bardic Inspiration. My character just kind of looks at you and says, could you just make roots push it out? Hey, I'm my a, character shakes head and goes back to watching the show. I'm a light. <laughs> I'm a light. I'm a light boy. I, I'm just, I know you're a light boy. Oh, I'm not going to be useful in this situation can I at use all. My plant groom to and I'll make the room to come under the ground, just to lift and push the folks' body out of the ground for me. All right, how many spell points are you putting into this? My last three. Your last three? Okay, roll. The ground shifts for about 20 feet behind where you are now, down the length of this, loosening up the ground a bit, and you do feel that the body itself seems to have shifted, but not quite lifted out. 25 feet. Can you transfer spell points? Ah, yes, thank you. Hey. Or hand her stones. Hey. <laughs> hey. How, how, many, how many points do you want? Like no, not that this is like metagame or anything, or, you know, however you rate that, how much energy do you have left? Oh. Tell me how many points it's... of energy you have left. You sound like a black market spell point dealer. You're like, how many points do you need, man? You're like, I got, I got the points and I need the good stuff. I got the good stuff. I need points. I got points. I got all sorts of points. How about this? Honest, I'll, hook you up, I'll hook you up with two stones. Sound good? Two stones? Two stones? I'll give you two stones. <laughs> I'm just going directly. Yo, Vinny, uh, we don't take even have to roll. One spell point. Each. 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 Each.
I'll, 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 I'll even throw in the third one for free. <laughs> How many spell points? So you could feel you could feel the energy coming from three them. whole spell points. There you go. So you need. So you're gonna try and use the spell points and the stones to cast. I was gonna try to. I like, also have two blessings. Put, put them into her. Towards it. So. And I'm sorry. What were you saying, Stephen? I was gonna say, could couldn't I use my uh, my enchantment stuff to just drain them from the stone into her? You could transfer it if you want to spend the time for that, or she can just use them. Can I also give her Guard Inspiration? Sure. So add a d6 for Inspiration, and okay. that can be added on top of your Bless. You get two d6s. The only way you can get a double Bless that I've been able to find. Good that. And the d6s. And the d6s. Please. Uh, bless your spell modifier. Sixteen. Sixteen? Okay. Um small sprouts erupt from the ground from for the next like twenty-five, almost thirty feet in front of you. Still not enough to lift it out though. But we know this thing is huge. Uh, no, it's funny. Yeah, it's like armor plating. Where? Yeah. We're gonna drag this uh, this thirty foot no, beast we're going into to the have next to town. Pick, we're gonna have to rip it down. We're gonna have to rip its scales off and take it Is down. the raft ready to go? That's still a lot of. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start layering the bottom of a section of the raft. My racial trait thing, because it's fireproof. Okay. So how long are you gonna spend trying to make a? All right. So are you trying to actually layer it? Because think about square footage. Or no. are you trying to make like a seat or something? An area. Or a hammock or a nest. A nest. Suspended nest. Yep. Okay. Basically, a hanging sack. Hanging Half sack. Sorry. Good, I won't up. Okay, so he disappears. You guys don't even see him disappear off. Wow. You're busy watching the plants grow up out of the ground around this giant thing. Alright, and anything else you want to do? I mean, exactly how much how much time do you want to spend on working on this creature? You have 12 feet of it right now. That's yeah. like a full job of skinning. You want to pull another 25 feet and have another yeah. two jobs worth of skinning? I guess, can I just try take the 12 feet that I have, though? It'll take you about a half hour to cleave that 12 foot off, and then another hour to three hours to prepare it all and butcher it. Then you have to vote in a while, so... Yeah. So, um, you're just taking 12 feet of it? Yep. So, 12 feet of giants on millipede. Which means that you can butcher it down to its shell, its meat, its juices, also. It, there's, it's bleeding all over the place. <laughs> this dark, greenish blood. You can go up to it. I have a bio. The best I can offer you is to keep your box out. That one holds liquid. Somebody could create something. <laughs> huh, it'd be sure convenient to have some bottles to put some liquid in. Well, if you can find me some sand, I can make two more vials. You have so I'm not going anywhere you near that. You have some. Apparently. In your inventory, I, I'm pretty positive I gave you glass and other materials that you can... Oh, I found glass, yeah. <laughs> I was going to make a joke about not wanting to go by the water to grab the sand. <laughs> this is on a swamp. There's not even any sand nope. nearby. We are to, we're definitely you, not in the right environment. I'm yeah, lucky right. enough to find quicksand. Mm, that's not luck. <laughs> I could 
make you a couple of vials for the cost of blood. Sure. All right, do a performance check. Or um, <laughs> sleight of hand. Whatever. Whichever one you want to use. Sleight of hand is a four, and your performance is a three. So go up sleight of hand. Uh, 17. Roll a d4. Probably four. an important question, yeah. but... In a matter of about an hour, you're able to make four decent glass bottles. How big? Okay. So... So, I grab them from him, and I start filling it with monster blood. Yeah, basically, think about, like, turn-of-the-century medicine bottles. So, like, 12 to 20 ounces. For all of our encounters so and stuff, uh... How, how much of my glass do I lose for that? I had five pounds of it. That would be one pound. Yeah. I would say roughly. What have we been gaining for experience? That I'm going to be bringing up in a sh few short minutes after we go through this part. I'm getting ahead of you. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Oh. Um, so you're butchering it all? I get Nick at that. If you wake him up, you'll have to find Nick. I'm looking over at Jeff. As you see me trying, mm -hmm. filling vials of things if you want to buy myself then. Okay. Uh, if you're trying to fill it with the blood, make a medicine check. To get blood and not other bodily fluids. Five. You're pretty sure you got mostly blood. <clears throat> it's all kind of green. But what do you want it for? Arrows. Okay. I'll test a vial out. Does anyone ask her what she's doing? Oh, she's near oh. me doing this. Yeah. She's like, as you're ripping it apart, she's sitting there trying to collect blood off of it. Okay, you make a uh, nature check. Or medicine, whichever one you want. Oh, cool. That was a test. It's mine. Sorry, I dropped mine. Twenty-four. She has about at that roll about fifty percent blood, about fifty percent bodily fluids. You know, like 50% of that is blood, right? Huh? Really? Yeah, do you want to help her collect blood? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll okay. Do so, you guys spend the next couple of hours collecting blood. Um, Can I teach her, like, the, how to tell the difference between blood and body? Fluid? Do you pay attention? Yeah. Okay. Um, do a history check to see how much you understand of it. And do a... Either performance or medicine check for how well you're able to teach. teach. Ten. What? She, she is confusing as hell. You learn more from watching what she does and how the blood comes out of the blood vessels, which you never really paid that much attention to biology, I'm guessing. Um... So you get a general idea of how to get blood itself instead of all the other bodily fluids. They're not all mixed inside the body. Nope, you learn the trick that she shows you of pulling out one of the blood vessels or main veins and then just kind of doing compressions to make it basically pump the blood through the veins. So I'll do that. That would make the most sense usually. Yeah. Well, okay, so you do fill up your three bottles. Uh, three about? of your bottles. So, let's say each bottle is... The dude is not perfect. Let's see, it's usually... Five ounces for a bottle that we make? Let's say a drop is a milliliter. 
And these are about 200, 220 milliliter bottles. That seems like about right math. What do you guys think? 600 milliliters of millipede blood. Because if you look at this, one liter, so 2,000 liters, which means that it's uh, 2,000 milliliters. So, yeah, basically a third of this soda bottle for each bottle. I have about 600 milliliters of millipede blood. Yep. Hey, anything else you guys want to do? Can I try to start dashing start breaking down the salt that I have and taking the scales first? Well, I'm just letting you do it. You have plenty of experience butchering animals and leather working at this point, and you have a bag of holding. So it's not like you actually have to prepare the meat or anything like that first. You just have to break it down properly. So can I also try to break it down then? Does anyone want to pay attention to how to butcher a millipede? I'm probably too focused on getting blood. This would be part of that. Yeah. yeah if guess. you continue for more than like a half hour helping her out and to you get the blood. And you make another roll for that then? No. You're skilled enough and I'm not going to make you roll. You know how to butcher an animal at this point. And anyone that pays attention with you um, will get a plus one to their next nature check or medicine check. Can I pull out my butcher's cleaver? This help? Yeah. Could I use that then? Yeah. Most like just using yeah. My hand. It's just different methodology you're using while you're doing it. All right. So um, you end up going back to camp. I mean, this is still the middle of the night. We're only talking about like two, three o'clock in the morning. Um, I take it the two of you are going back on watch. You're gonna finish butchering it. You going to bed? I'll go or... back to my bed. Okay. And you? I'll go into the tent and go back to that. Okay. Alright, then we are going to call it here for tonight for gameplay. Um, secondary to gameplay, though, is that this I figured out to be just enough for you guys to level up. Awesome! Since all of you seemed in such a hurry to level up and stuff. So... So, now you guys get to make the choice. What are you going to put your level into? How do you want to spend your points that you were getting for it? All right, and I am going to close out the video here. And if anyone ever wants to find out more of what happened for where we figured out Primal and how all that works, let us know and maybe we'll have to make some kind of show about it. Other than that, good night till next week.